Hello, welcome back. Uh, for this session, we will be installing uh, some of the DevOps tools on our VM machine. So last time we installed the VM machine. Now we will be installing uh, Visual Studio. So you can browse to Visual Studio. Go and you can download it. So I'm going to be downloading the the community copy. Here we go. Would you like to download it with the community copy? It can have a standard or the pro. So I'm going to go for the community, save us, and then uh, just it should be enough for us to start with. But if you would like to, uh, you know, install the different version of uh, VS, then you need a license for it. At the moment, this is the community one. And you can see you can trust it, location, type, and uh, yes to this one. But it might take time before you get started. We need to set up a few things. Uh, configuration, yeah, let's we do the installer. I'm just gonna install the minimum requirement uh, for the VS, and we'll show later on if we need to install the component packages and we will start deploying, you know, uh, Surface Fabric, uh, Surface Boss, web applications. Uh, we'll focus on Azure to start with, and integration with VSTS or Azure DevOps. So this one, this session is only installing the VS 2017 community. And while we're waiting for this, some setup, you can see the options here. Uh, getting started and uh, you can see the build application here and getting started okay here we go straight simple as that as you can see and here we go and what would you like to install so to start with you can see this is the community one so uh, again options for you workloads language pack and installation so for us uh, I mean to start with I'm gonna go with .NET uh, universal you can see build Windows forms control application using C sharp visual basics again so this is what I'm after and you can see on the right hand side Visual Studio uh, Core Editors, Desktop Components, and you can see the optional components. Uh, again, I need to do some later on some .NET development, so I'm going to check that tick box. Uh, you can have a SQL Express, local copy of SQL, which I need to, so I'm going to go for that one as well. You can see the total space required is getting more and more, 5.5 GP location if you want to change the location and what else do I need I need a uh, .NET framework as well we will be doing some work with the framework so I will go for uh, 4.7 again 5.68 is 200 meg as you can see these are the options for available for us if you choose to do some desktop development with C++ if you take that tick box you can see it's uh, more options Okay, you can pick and choose what is, um, what are the requirements, you can see the SDKs, again, depend on the activity or the work you'll be doing, I do need to do some of this at the moment, universal, here we go again, .NET native and standard, and Windows 10 SDKs, and take that checkbox, moving next. Uh, plan to do some ASP deployment, yes, tick that tick box. What exactly we're gonna do? We've already ticked the tick boxes for .NET Core, which is what I need. I thought I've ticked it earlier. Uh, are we planning to do some MVCs? Yes. So ASP.NET MVC. Uh, other stuff, uh, one .NET Core one, I don't need at the moment. But you might need it for your environment. Uh, what else do I need? Azure, definitely. You can see the Azure stuff. Uh, data Lake, 
service fabric tool this is what I need okay ISP.NET and web deploy I'm gonna keep it very minimal Python deployment at the moment we will keep it Node.js mm, yes let's we do the node as well Java so I'm gonna go for minimal as again <coughs> And then the data storage processing, data science, and you can see gaming and other options. Yeah, uh, extensions. Hmm, here we go. .NET, SDK, compilers, and so on. Yeah, these are the options that are built for us. Uh, Cross-platform. Uh, here we go. I just want to do some cross platform so I'll show you later on what we need to do but at the moment that should be enough for us we're not going to do Linux and you can see the total size 11 gig so that will take um, some time to finish okay so I'm going to keep it as a C drive uh, a lot of these stuff you might not need them uh, but again depending on the activities you can download them later on you can see there when you highlight it it help us to build a cross-platform application using .NET Core, ASP Core, standard-based technology, HTML, JSON, you know, uh, YAML, Docker, and so on. Okay, these are like the tools. If I highlight the second one here, you can see create application running on Linux environment. We're not going to do this at the moment. This is basically doing some SDKs for you know uh, Visual Studios and the marketplace and so on. So we're going to go this one. Uh, this is what I'm going to use. I'll show you later on what we need to do with the rest and if we need another package. So that should be enough for us. Again, if you want to change the location, you can change it. At the moment, I have only C drive on this dev machine. Space required 11 GP. Install. And you can see that one here. I'm going for the uh, what I call it, a community. Visual Studio Community uh, 2.12 uh, GP. It uh, does require uh, 388 packages, and I will leave that one running. I'm just going to navigate and show you what you can do with VSTS. Oh, sorry, VS 2017. Other options are available, which I mentioned earlier, which require again license, Visual Studio Enterprise, and Provisional. Enterprise, it is the most I would say advanced option, and you can see the release notes here you can see options more uh, export import configuration and you can see uh, uh, yeah some benefits which I'm just trying to show you here take us to the same page and if that loads while we are running then you can see the benefits you will be getting from uh, the VSTS or VS 2017 with the build version 1590 92 sorry uh, again, customers reporting issues, high level, just in case we start later on. This is the developer community, the one I have, or the one I'm downloading. Then you can see all the way back, down with each release, okay? And you got one for Max as well, if you choose, you can see on the left, okay? And the options are available for you. I'm going to park down at the moment, minimize, go back to where we were before, same thing applied to the professional. Still running, you can see 32 out of 388, that will take time, it's quite slow, but again, let's we have a look what options we have. While we're waiting, on the right hand side, you can see them. I mean, this is some of the high level intro. Uh, a few of the options are available for us here, and you can see uh, this is the educational side of it. We got the marketplace now. The marketplace, I'm just going to show you. I click on learn, that will take us to Microsoft uh, website again. It's opened here. We go, and you can see here uh, getting started with VS Visual Studio. And you can see there is, a, for example, uh, some of the uh, virtual sort of like courses by Microsoft. They are very useful. You can see there with a Visual Studio, you need uh, you know you can customize the IDE, and you can download Visual Studio. 
as well from the free page these are the videos I was referring to earlier now we can set up your uh, first IDE building your first application running debugs opening project and some of the tips and tricks and you can see the whole solutions step-by-step -step guides move up Azure for us later on we will be focusing on a lot of these Azure activities, Azure work, plus web applications. Um, focus will be less on the other area. We will be using uh, ASP.NET, uh, uh, sorry, Core in particular, and then we will do some Java or Node.js as well. These are the main focus. But you can see Ruby is there, you can see Python, C++, and other options are available for you. Here's the walkthrough documentation very nice uh, I would say again if you agree or disagree depend on uh, your experience with Microsoft but I would say it's enough to start with you know how you can install VS Visual Studio integrating development environment IDE what they mean the designer shortcut it is very useful additions it does give you a high level overview about vs 2017 you can see i love this here how we can run the code building our code editing our code save the code okay and how you can connect it so these are the options uh, uh refactoring you know again what does that mean for us it's include operating in such intelligent renaming variables extracting again this is not a course for vs but just to show you how you can install it Later on, we will do a proper course and we'll cover all these nuggets configuration, communication, changing codes, coding with VS. You know, and you can see these are options, peak definitions, uh, how you can install the Visual Studio with a cross platform, how you can create a project, type of project, either empty, blank, or one of these cloud ones. I'll show you all these. How we can start debug or without debugging, start a project, building a project, uh, publishing a project, and uh, changing the variables, changing the settings to fulfill your requirement. All of these, again, you can see this really useful, I would say, step by step uh, guide. Uh, let's just go back and see what happened to our installation. You can see it's a bit slow, it's 6 meg, you know. Uh, download time and we are nearly halfway through more than halfway through and uh, uh, next is we just had a look at the learn I'm just gonna click on the marketplace I will see what options we have here that will be around extensions again click on the marketplace you get a page open let's have a look what we got there now right if you go an account you can sign into your VS Visual Studio uh, like MSDN license or other options at the moment I'm not going to log on but here's the sign in page and uh, you can see that will basically help you to log on and you can specify your account with the license and then you can log on I'm just going to go back and show you what is available through this extension they are very useful and uh, basically you can see some modern authentication is going to kick in to the marketplace and won't allow us to log on so let's ignore that one go back to where we were before click it's nearly there at the moment it's getting more 29 click on marketplace let's open the page again let me just show you this while we're waiting and here you go marketplace so some of these nice extensions you know, I'm just show you which one free. I mean the integration like continuous delivery. I like that one. I will be using this one to build and deploy to Azure DevOps or VSTS. You can see other sort of like plugins. Uh, you can, I mean, if you like one of these, you can install. I'll show you. You can see Data Lake, SQL Search, and you can see these are featured, popular, Git, and you know, uh, PowerShell cross-platform tools yeah and you can see others and more and more okay we got some of the SQL again virtual assistants 
uh, so so I'm gonna ignore the other options the one I was referring to maybe like uh, for example here like uh, git I click on git you can see this is you know you can download the extension for visual studio you know for the github okay or you can download the github desktop uh, version uh, all you have to do is download it's free of charge and I can save it I will run it later on so I'm not gonna run it now I save the git it's quite small what it does you can see there git will help us to connect to github yeah? which apparently Microsoft acquired recently so that will help us to connect create clone publish and manage again we can fork we can utilize it I'll show you later on go back where we were before I think I like the uh, just show you the CD continuous continuous delivery again this is really useful you can see uh, somebody used it it's help us so I can sit down again it help us to simplify the build for continuous integration continuous build and save us again I'll, at the moment these are enough for me however feel free to play with the marketplace and see what you can do with it okay go back to where we were we here you can see the download is 100% finished and the installation of the my packages I've selected a few which means it take time to finish but at the moment you can see it's 388 and it is getting faster the package installation and within a few minutes we should be able to run and you know utilize it okay and I uh, just want to show you at the moment where we are 25% and it is 250 nearly 100 packages left again depend on what did you select to download you've seen earlier I've selected a few options that's why it's quite big now this depends on the activity you do uh, you might go for the default where it is like only one package or sort of one component this is the minimum and then you can install the required packages or components when needed again these are driven by your requirements so while we're waiting for this one let me just go back to the marketplace I just want to show you something else here again when you log on you will see what options are available for you okay so if I go back here to tools you can read about these and improve uh, you can see the subscriptions DevOp, VSTS and PowerShell I forgot to download PowerShell PowerShell is good I need PowerShell as well cross-platform for PowerShell again save we'll need it later on to help us to do some debugging maybe okay I'll leave that one here what else do I need let's go back here have a look and uh, again I'll leave the nuggets later on we leave as your function service fabric whatever it is there we go to we go visual studio code this is the uh, extension for you can see these are features extensions and again uh, maybe Kubernetes we will do this, some of this later on I'll show you how we can do them but I don't only for installation but uh, it's worth noticing again then you go to the VSTS or nowadays called Azure DevOps you can see the options are available for us uh, this one one of these I'm going to play with as AWS tools for Microsoft it is uh, again quite useful you can see how we can do the task for S3 or you know Lambada and uh, Amazon and using a team service so I'm going to just get it for free again oh you need to log on so apologize you can log on and get it so okay I'm not going to log on this one we get it later on we go back to our installation it is a bit slow now so I'm gonna uh, pause and come back later on when it is ready 
right we are back and nearly there only a few left 98 percent you've seen it took time it's like uh, 25 minutes again depends on what you try to download now it's finished let's see have a look how it looks like for us and then that should be it basically for you know the uh, vs uh, installation it's finishing up so that shouldn't take more than a few minutes again depending on the spec of your uh, machine okay while we're waiting for this to finish these are the nice uh, sample code we need to start with uh, Visual Studio you can see what I want to show you earlier and it helps you to navigate through Visual Studio videos and solutions yeah now let's we just pick one of these solutions you can say loads tutorials or load samples so which one you prefer tutorials again take us to uh, really good uh, tutorials and you can see you can publish application you can start you know a project you can go through the prereq create a project either application web app or fabric or depend on your activities publishing the project how you can publish internally externally web services as your resource groups and you can create an app service plan and so on i'm not going to go through these but we can basically i uh, will walk you through some of these creating uh, java or did not that was core this is framework you know the js okay and php html and containers container is the way forward and you can see that translation is finished so here we go it's completed i just want to show you you can just say launch it and that's it basically okay so minimize minimize this we have a look what we go here it does require signing you know when you do log on first time however i'm just going to do not now later on you can create your own account and you can contribute to the community of vs or will get support or help okay this is you can sign in to start using azure credential publishing code to a private git repo and syncing your settings and plus unlocking uh, and locking the ide so i'm going to say not now maybe later okay uh, what you'd like to prefer blue extra light dark yeah so i'm going to go with dark and you can say what exactly setting scene required i'm just going to keep it a general we can use java vs visual basic or c sharp or so on yeah just leave it as it is depend on your requirement i'm going to go for general and then start it take a few minutes to set you up this is you know like the scheme or the theme or the code whatever you've selected based on these two entries then after that you will see uh, the interface here we go it started now uh, you can see again getting started you can build your app in five minutes maximize and you can see this in the project you can you know use the solution explorer you can do some development as well yeah news okay you can just do that way and at the moment i don't have any any uh, project but just to show you a few of these options here you can create a new project or file or you know open a new an existing project or folder and you can see the source control you might find it a bit difficult if you it's first time change the black if you want to change it to blue then uh, feel free here's if you want to sign in i don't have anything at the moment i don't have to sign as well uh, settings you know tools we will arrange another session for vs 
but this is to show you how you can install it you can browse view you know you can see cloud explorer for example we got the team explorer these are the cloud explorer will open here for us drop down list and you can see options hiding or here we go what exactly do we, 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 we have no project at the moment but this is what happened later on you know these are the local settings later on show you can so install surface fabric and app services and so on yeah how we can communicate connect to blob or queue or table and do the work okay open azure devop externally and tfs and you can see add account removing account and so on so i think that's all what i had for you for today it's just to show you how we can install vs visual studio 2017 uh, you chosen the community you can you know uh, select other options for you okay there you go you can see this community and these are the framework components i've selected to install okay you can see if selected a lot 388 and you can see the system info if you choose to and if you want to troubleshoot it you can see those uh, dax dyke this is check the driver digitally signed and so on ignore it system info this is your vm machine info you're after okay i'm going to ignore that one at the moment i don't need this and i think that's all for today this is the text info about your machine exit hopefully you have uh, sort of like uh, find this useful how we can install it later on i'll show you what else we can do and how we can utilize it yeah thank you for watching and i shall see you on the next uh, video uh, goodbye